Alright, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this ASUS model X420U. Okay, I don't know if people are going to make a joke about that, but... Okay, so anyways, first what you want to do, take all the screws out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, once you remove all 11 screws, you're going to have to undo the clips. This model, the clips are pretty strong, so... The best way I found to do that is open the screen slightly so you have it raised up and then get your fingernails or pry tool between the gap here where the palm rest, hopefully you can see the palm rest and there um, attach. Be careful with the trackpad, you don't want to put force on it. So what I do is I'll get my fingernails and I'll push with my thumb against the palm rest to pull it out just like this. All right, and then go along, do the other side. Do this. I already popped it out so it's a little bit easier, but basically you do that. I popped it out one time. Okay. So once you get the front side out, you can close the laptop. And then while you're kind of pulling up on this side, run your fingernail or pry tool along the side edge here like this. And then the other side like this. And be careful with these individual um, ports. Like these parts, they'll have clips separately that you need to pop up. Okay. Once you get that, the whole thing will actually come up just like this. All right, so this design, they're doing this weird thing where they put these little foam pads, foam rails, and they use this, this plastic rail to help guide the air through here. So this design, I don't really like it. Um, if this foam pad gets torn or anything, then the air will start going out the wrong way. Um, I guess what they're trying to do is get double, um, double the benefit of the airflow. So I guess the airflow blows through the, the part here where the CPU is, the heatsink, and then it blows through the, the heatsink fins as well. Um, so I guess as long as you don't screw something up here, it's a decent design, but getting like a good seal for this is, it's probably um, not going to be too good of a seal. Um, the other thing is then the dust starts going all over all these components. Normally you just get the dust here. So what I saw when I opened this, there was so much dust like all on this stuff as well. So I kind of feel it's a bad design, especially if you get dust that can um, um, damage the motherboard. So this actually has a motherboard issue, so I'm thinking it's due to that. So the air probably pulled in the dust. There were probably some conductive dust particles, and it probably screwed up some components here. So I'm looking at this. I'm probably thinking it's not going to be worth repairing because it has this bad design flaw. But um, yeah, I'll let the customer decide. Anyways, um, you got the speaker connector here. So to remove the speaker, I use my fingernail between the connector and the and this part of the board. And I basically just wobble it and you keep wiggling it and it'll pop out just like that. So I'm going to put that back. All right. Oh, um, I'm not going to take the whole motherboard out, but it looks like this model is so thin. There's no way they're going to fit a stick of RAM underneath because this is resting like almost completely against the keyboard. Um, so yeah. Um, oh, and one other thing, um, just to be safe, maybe remove the battery first. So to remove that, there's this little metal piece. So as you can see, it slides. You want to slide it up. Once you slide that up, get underneath the wings of the battery connector, and then just wiggle it and pull it up, just like that. All right, this one, the board's already dead. So um, yeah, I don't think it's going to have any problem, but hold the power button for about 15 seconds to drain any additional power. All right, and then, yeah, so here... Um, I guess I'll take out the battery just so you can kind of see what's underneath. Let's see here. So there's one screw there, one screw there, one screw here. Try and keep the screws in order. You don't want to mix them up because sometimes they're different. And um, if you mix them up, you can actually damage the computer if you put the wrong screw in the wrong hole. All right. So this battery looks like it's probably going to be a pain to remove because they have all these cables running across it. So I don't know if I'm actually going to completely remove it from the computer. I'm just going to lift it slightly to see show what's underneath unless I have to take it completely out. So let's see here. All right, so remove all those screws. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight screws total holding this thing down. 
okay and then you do have to lift this up to remove the fan if you need to take the fan out because there's a screw here um, you don't really have to take the battery completely out but you have to take the screw out so that way you can lift this metal piece of the fan up and then there's these two other screws as well and then to remove the fan same as the speaker you just grab the wings and wiggle it and it'll pop out okay so i'm not going to take that out let's see i might have to take at least this stuff on this side out so I'll peel off this tape that's holding down this the antenna wires um, it looks like the antennas are under here so i'm going to take the speaker out just to show you so the speakers are held in with these little rubber things you can just lift them up actually and here you can see the antenna is actually on the back of this um, speaker here so that's kind of an interesting design they just stuck them together Okay, so here you can see I got the wire out from this little side and I'm lifting the battery. So you can see the keyboard cable here to remove the connector. You just flip this latch up and then you can pull the cable out. I'm going to leave it in. Um, the cable, sometimes you have to lift it slightly up because the plastic wings actually are held um, by these little notches, that are these raised notches. So you do have to lift it at an angle when you pull it back. Okay. And then you got the trackpad cable connector here. You got the keyboard backlight connector here. All right, so I'm going to put this back. All right, and the wireless antennas, just like every other model, you just pull from the tail up. It'll pop out like that to put it back. You just line it back up to make sure it's aligned. Um, I use my fingernail on top and I try and see if it'll move around. Hold up, let me get it aligned. And if, if moving my fingernail on top of it doesn't move it around, then it's good and I pop it down. All right, to take the wireless card out, there's the one screw. It'll pop up at an angle. You can wiggle it out. Um, I'll show you same with the SSD. There's this one screw. Take the one screw out um, and then you can lift it up slightly at an angle and then just wiggle it and it comes out just like that. Okay, so that's how you would do that. All right. Let's see, is there, there's no model, uh, motherboard model number here. Um, this looks like, uh, this is a SATA M.2 SSD. Um, I don't know if the board supports M.2 PCIe NVMe SSDs. So if you want to be safe, make sure to get a SATA SSD. Um, sometimes the M.2 will fit, but it won't boot up properly. So there you go. All right, put the antennas back in. Looks like other than that, that's all there is to this model. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, everything else looks to be soldered in place. The board seems to be its own piece. So, yeah, we are going to leave this. Oops, I left the battery flipped out again. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Um, oh, and the battery, if you take it out, just know that there's these little notches that have to go underneath this plastic here. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thank you for watching. Um, one other thing I didn't mention, if you need to change the keyboard, they do melt these plastic things in place on top of the keyboard. So your best bet would be actually to replace the whole palm rest. Um, oh, and I forgot to actually mention also the... LCD connector here. So the LCD connector, or they call LVD, LVDS. Um, so the connector here, it's a sliding connector. So you peel up this tape and then you just pull the connector back. So it disconnects just like that. Okay. And make sure if you touch the LCD or LVDS connector that you did the battery drain thing I mentioned in the beginning, disconnect the battery and hold the power button down for 15 seconds or so. Um, because if you just yank this out, a lot of times people will short out the backlight circuit Okay, so that's pretty much it. The charge port is also soldered in place, so a lot of this stuff you can't really repair yourself unless you know how to do these more advanced steps. Alright, so hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.